welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Dragons. I have not played like a, a dragon deck with Dragon's Clutch um, and a Demacia Dragon deck with that and with Screeching Dragon yet. And I feel bad about that. So we're going to rectify that situation and let's play some dragons here. So of course we have um, our Herald of the Dragons to have our allies, dragon allies cost one less. And then we got um, all sorts of dragons. We got three White Flame Protector and Screeching Dragons, and then two Fused Firebrands, Involius Vox, and Infinite Mind Splitters. And then, of course, our two Aurelian Souls at the top end. Only going two Dragon's Clutch, not three. I feel like this card is, eh, it's all right. You know, like, it's it's versatile. Uh, against a control deck, we can have it be a draw two if we're in um, against, like, another uh, unit deck uh, that's focusing on combat. We can get that plus one, plus one. But I don't know. I'm only just playing the two. Uh, let's see. I got Chain Vest in here because of all of the one damage spells running around with, like Ezreal and Make It Rain and that kind of stuff. Help protect Fiora. Um, but then permanently, I feel like, I feel like it's probably better than Ranger's Resolve for our deck of getting the permanent buff. Um, just one Hush, but maybe that should be a second. And maybe it should be one Chain Vest, two Hush. We'll kind of play some games like this. That could be something that we change. But let's see how we do. We got all the single combats in Concerted Strike, because we're going to pair those with Fury. Um, we'll head on over to Demacia. Any dragons? Not really. Um, no Fiora. No dragons. Uh, get a sword. Sword's kind of like fighting and stuff. Any dragons? Dragaling. I don't know, that, this one's not that cool of a card back. We'll just get this one. Okay, sorry. Um, <clears throat> you think Harold needs a buff? It's pretty good. <clears throat> you could make it a 1-2. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't change the card that much. You could turn it into a 1-2, but... It's a 1-1 a one, one that can that can ramp you. Like, two mana cards that, that ramp you, there's not, you know, like, there's the O2 that does that situationally. I think it's pretty good. Could keep the four mana dragon. We'll do that to kind of have it just like a baseline of at worst we have that card. Yeah, I mean that's it's not supposed to it's not supposed to be easy for a card like Herald of the Dragons to just stay on the battlefield for you because if, if this card was like, you know, you said it feels like it never lasts. I mean, if if it was just always lasting and just always in play, um they would that'd be really powerful because then it would make, you know, if it was just consistently always in play, then you'd be able to just ramp into dragons all the time. So I think it makes it makes sense that it's easy to kill, so it's not it's not just really easy to always just have dragons everywhere. So we're going to challenge the monkey idol. Does look like they're going to have their gangplank and Sejuani leveled up very fast. I guess it doesn't really make that much sense to attack with a protector. Which also then we might as well just attack here because of the fury. <clears throat> Our life will be much easier if they don't have their champions. Ooh, that's a good good card. That can kill a champion. We're gonna need to be able to kill champions. And that can do it. Let's see. Let's attack here. Now let them just play a Sejuani and Frostbite something. Dude, Fury's pretty cool. I rarely forget that never forgive. Never forgive? I'll 
Take my time. That's four. Oh. I guess we can. We'll have eight mana. And so that'll be enough for Concerned Strike and Fill Cascade. Pain is nothing. vulnerable this turn. Uh yeah, can't really stop that. Water is mine and mine alone. Yeah, the the Fury Fury is just whoever kills the the thing. So only only one will benefit from Fury. Um because it's, it's not Fury doesn't happen whenever it strikes, it's whenever it kills. So only only one of your things like they strike separately. And you choose the order of striking. Whichever one you target first with a concerted strike will strike first. And whichever one you target second will strike second. Um, so you, you do get to choose that ordering. Explosives. Unyielding light. Another Pale Cascades, another good draw. I'll play the other Protector. And we have both of our Pale Cascades available. Light. Where are you going? Get barnacle! Something the matter. Matter. Crying won't do any good. Don't need the Herald of the Dragons right now. Ooh, that's a good one. Looks like my opponent was pretty happy about double pill cascade. The Fury animation is really cool. I've whipped up something special. It's possible we lose this. Possible they have nine Nexus damage. Especially with Riptide Rex. Ready, Rex. So I can play Herald of the Dragons and Infinite Mind Splitter this turn, so I can get two things in play. Come hither, you beast just, of look how just ridiculous Riptide Rex is, though. Just taking out four really good guards. Tidrex is just silly. She spake, and the galaxies listened. <gasps> it probably just makes sense to play this thing. The Star Forger himself. You rang. And they may win this with just these powder monkeys and stuff. Attacking, they they block the first thing with the powder monkey, and then it frostbites my other things. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. So it's just gonna keep my Aurelian soul from leveling up too.
Now let's do 15 damage to all enemies, including Sejuani and Monkey Idol. Let's do that. Sure, frost by my stuff. Anyone for some stardust? Could have could have cast Hush first. Well but I'm more worried about them having like another Sejuani and challenging my 1-1 one -one and uh, I would want to be able to hush that Sejuani or we have to hush this little 2-1. Who's a good boy? The messenger, you're a good boy. Be quiet. Legend's pretty good. Alright, GG's. And that's why you have a second to really insult. Victory today, freedom tomorrow. <laughs> it feels creative. Do you mean do you mean uh Lulu and Shen maybe? One side of board wipe. Okay, we were playing against Vi Elise. I like Chain Vest. And I like Spell Shield. Shield Bearer for yours, pretty cool. I don't know. I could have mulliganed the Shield Bearer, probably. Actually. Lady Elise? Yeah, I'll probably could have just mulligan Shield Bearer. I must get out of here. Oh, okay, I got you. Please, I have connections. Don't know if that's worth it. Or if I should simply save your worlds. Yeah, I probably should just mulligan that card. Alright, anyway. Too late for that. No. You do not get to kill Fiora. Not yet, at least. Not yet. And then, of course, we'll have the spell shield for the next thing. You know what? We're gonna let that happen. We're gonna save Spell Shield for these things. Yours is just a 3 1 right now, anyway. Sure. The problem there, of course, is now I don't have Bastion for a Screeching Dragon, but we did get a gotcha out of their hand, and so that's good news. Hopefully that works. I should have just done that first. We really didn't need to play that 1-1. But we again got 
a uh, you know way more expensive spell than the card that we played out of their hands. Ooh, that could be good. Punch it. Eat this. Press bosses. So you can definitely see Ledros. And Ledros, I'm going to want to hush and kill. I think Leona might be better than Fiora in this deck. Uh, you'd have to you'd have to start playing a whole bunch of more Daybreak cards that I don't really want to play. For Leona. Their plan is just completely ruination. I mean, it does. We do get an invoke card anyway. And then. Um, we do get an invoke card anyway, and then with the spell shield, stops ruination. So, yeah, they have to use another spell plus ruination. And we're still fine. It, it even after all that, it replaced itself. I still have another Aurelian Soul as well. I pull the string. Your favorite star. I created it. <clears throat> Ooh. That could be cool. My, how they stare. We're at 16 right now, as far as leveling up. Why didn't you go Serpent first to grow Elusive? Because, I guess that, yeah, that could have happened, but if I go Serpent first, I just feel like it's really easy to kill the Serpent. I just want to go, like, Serpent at the end of the turn to kind of, like, surprise level up Aurelian Soul at the end of the turn. Um, so I guess I can't do anything about that, though, because I can't give another Spell Shield. Um, so I guess that's just going to happen. And I don't I think I'd just save these cards. I don't think I use either of those. I feel like we're doing just fine. We got living legends. We got star shaping. Okay. We will go hush. And inserted strike. Okay, Ledros out of here for good. Gain some of that life we just lost. Get another immortal fire that they just can't kill.
There we go. The Immortal Fire. It's the better Ledros. I feel like it's kind of hard to play Karina Control in a format with Aurelian Soul. Double Herald of Dragons. I definitely like that. Getting out quickly, but then we need dragons. We're going to mulligan this thing. Uh, Mind Splitter costs six, but it's a really good dragon. Or I need other dragons. No, that's not a dragon. Dragon. No, that's not a dragon either. We need our dragon. No, not a dragon. We're 0 for 3. The three cards, none of them are dragons. No, oh, they just have 10 power on turn 2. That's great. Wrong dragon! Uh, too bad. Alright, this one's looking pretty bad. It's like great hand for them. Strength in grace, beauty is yeah. blade. Great hand. Try me. Seriously? Have it all. Just have it all. Regain what we have lost. Scouts. Single combat can be awesome here if we draw dragons. Now we could keep dragons clutch, which would definitely draw dragons, but that's spending three mana to draw dragons, which I don't know if I want to spend three mana to draw dragons in a matchup like where they're going to be aggressive. It's a lot of mana because you know we'd have to do that early. So last game we didn't draw dragons. I think this game we will. Right, we can't just like completely miss on dragons both games in a row, can we? I guess maybe we can. Uh, I'm not really expecting Bastion to be too good against the scout deck. My faith protects me. New recruit reporting in. Scorching light. They, they do have a couple of spells, but not, not very many. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Clad in shining sunlight. But definitely wanting to play this and then single combat the misfortune. I could play the chain vest here and save this 3 2, but we'll just let it die. Hope they don't have Rangers Resolve. Of course they do. Love ya. I don't even think I really play them. Maybe I do. I was thinking, like, maybe just having star shaping Shape the skies and available. The no, we should probably just play them. Because we're going to draw a dragon. 
some other time. Maybe next game. Maybe next game. Oh, I gotta behold a celestial card. What am I doing? Oh, I'm not gonna behold a celestial card. No. The wood can't fight back, but I can. I forget about that part of that card. Yeah, it looks like the dragon's clutch was a keep. Should have been a keep. That's a good amount of cards. Ten cards. It's not like I'm just trying to draw like one of three cards or something. Here's some dragons. Definitely getting rid of Chain Vest. Get rid of Involius Fox. Um... Keep the protector. I could definitely use Herald of Dragons this this game. Herald of Dragons, please. Rats. I honestly don't think it's worth playing Star Shaping, even though we're not using three of our mana, because I'd rather just have that... I'd rather be able to keep some mana alive for, for these things. I'd rather still have the three spell mana banked. So now the question is... Screeching Dragon or Fiora? Must die. I think the answer is Fiora. Oh yeah. No, oh god. Sorry, I had Harvey bark in there. So just gonna challenge there because basically with them playing this little one-one, I. With them playing the 1-1, one, one, I don't really want to attack with the White Flame. Uh, someone just parked the skies. Like, across the street. The house across the street. Time is nigh. Okay, but basically... Again, I wanted to keep the Spacey Sketcher alive for Fiora. <laughs> okay, back to us. Ten total mana, so I could have Screeching Dragon, Concerted Strike. I think I just challenge here and attack with these two. Should be creating a random dragon in hand, most likely. I am a dragon. Cool. Ooh, I like this give other allies plus two plus two and overwhelm. Oh, oh, oh. 
play another Pale Cascade, but at that point, I think it's probably not even really that worth it. Oh, I guess it would have been. Because they would just be able to play Hush again. If I go to the Pale Cascade. And, like, they wouldn't have spent... They wouldn't have spent a card. You know, they would have had just the Hush that would have gone away. So I played two Safeguard our homes. Hellcast Canes. Why would that attack into an Involius Vox? Just want to draw a card, I guess. Oh, that wasn't turned on. It's bad. So the Fiora is going to be killing this thing. this so I get another dragon. Thank you. More dragons. Good news is that's two hush already gone. Ugh. They can only have definitely hope they don't have another mind splitter. They can only have one more hush. It's not great. We have our Aurelian Soul level up, like this is just like GG's. A destiny born in star. Just playing like the Scourge twice for free. I don't know, I guess maybe they have maybe they have Your removal. These things don't have spell shields. I have the Bastion for a spell shield. But they are challengers, they would give the other the other challenger plus plus two plus two. Yeah, the Tarek Braum deck was good. Yep. Um, the deck code here. Go go in here. Um, that's that's a link to all my decks. It's you know it'll be one of the first decks there. As far as where the deck code is concerned. My, how they that's a good draw. A familiar face for you, Rome Terra. Let's play this for zero while we can in case something happens to my Aurelian Soul. I think I let that happen. I don't think I spell shield that. Oh, I am good, aren't I? Be quiet. Seriously, come on. Familiar face for you, Rome Terrans. Let's put let's put it let's just put it on here and draw a card. 
Okay, another single combat. Obviously, I wish I would have just put the Pale Cascade on my Aurelian Soul, so mine would have been larger than theirs. Alright, GG's. You've been wonderful, as have I. Fought through Triple Hush. And we won the Dragon Fight. So our deck was pretty cool. The Some aggro decks kind of hurt, you know, especially both those games that we lost. We had... You know, multiple herald of dragons and no dragon allies um basically not none of like these 10 of white flame protector fused firebrand screeching dragon and and involius vox one time i did mulligan away a dragon's clutch and that turned out to be the incorrect move shield bearer was pretty good um chain vest was fine it wasn't bad it kind of helped against that karina deck um but I could definitely see going down to one chain vest and playing two hush instead. Um, definitely hush is just super good. Um, I don't know about three hush. Three hush is kind of a bit. That's that's a bit much. But there we go. That's that's uh, Fiora Dragons. This was definitely fun playing some good old dragons. All right, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments if you try out the deck or just. Anything else about the format, any questions you have, um, you know, any kind of any kind of comments, always like seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Fiora Dragons, and I'll see you for the next video.